All right, ready for a deep dive into the world of stop motion. Always up for some stop motion magic. Today we're talking Wallace and Gromit. Ah, oh, the cheese-loving inventor and his brilliant dog. The very same. Their new film, Vengeance Most Foul, just hit the screens. Nearly two decades since their last big screen adventure. I'm curious, can it live up to the legacy? Right. We've got a review here. Let's see what they say. And a big question, can this new film really capture that same charm? Yeah, appealing to both longtime fans and newcomers. That's a tough needle to thread. It is. You've got the diehards who grew up with these characters. And then you've got a whole new generation discovering their quirky humor. Exactly. So how do you please both crowds? Well, it looks like they might have found a way. Oh, how so? This review, they're praising the film for doing just that, mm -hmm. appealing to both the old and the new. Interesting. Do tell. How'd they manage that? <laughs> well, for starters, they brought back a familiar face. Or beak, I should say. Feathers McGraw. No way. The villainous penguin from the wrong trousers. One and only. Talk about a nostalgia bomb for the longtime fans. Right. But here's the thing. The review says they've woven him into the story in a way that doesn't alienate newcomers. Hmm. So even if you're new to Wallace and Gromit, you won't be lost. Exactly. It's like a clever wink to the veterans without leaving anyone behind. I like it. A delicate balance. Speaking of balance, let's talk about those visuals the heart and soul of Wallace and Gromit Ardman animations. Oh, absolutely. That classic, handcrafted, stop-motion goodness. No other studio does it quite like them. In this review, they highlight how Ardman has stayed true to their roots. Minimal CGI. Minimal CGI. It's all about those painstakingly crafted movements, the subtle expressions, the tiny details. And speaking of details, this review raves about the visual gags. You know those little Ardman touches? Oh, they're everywhere. They say even a simple scene of Wallace making his morning tea is packed with layers of humor. It's what makes their work so rewatchable, you know? You always catch something new. Absolutely. I bet you could pause this film at any moment and find something to chuckle at. <laughs> but here's where it gets interesting. Okay, I'm all ears. They've thrown in a film noir twist. A film noir twist. Now that's unexpected. Wallace's latest invention, some sort of contraption, it gets hijacked by Feathers McGraw. Intrigue. Shadows, secrets. Maybe even a femme fatale, all rendered in that signature Ardman style. Can you imagine Gromit in a tiny trench coat and fedora? Don't forget the magnifying glass. But it's still got that Wallace and Gromit humor, right? No, absolutely. The review emphasizes that. Huh? It's that blend of lighthearted fun with just a touch of suspense. Classic Wallace and Gromit. And of course, we can't forget the real hero of the story, Gromit. Silent, but oh, so brilliant. The review, they sing his praises. Mm. Highlighting his quiet bravery and unwavering loyalty. As always, he's the one who saves the day. Using his wits and resourcefulness to outsmart that villainous penguin, it's brilliant. And his facial expressions, they speak volumes. Right. He's the perfect foil to Wallace's chaotic energy. A true dynamic duo. Their partnership, it's really the heart of these films. It is even when Wallace is driving Gromit up the wall with his crazy inventions. Well, based on this review, it seems Vengeance Most Foul really hits the arc. It does. Quirky humor, heartwarming charm, and a dash of, well, foul play. And this film's success, it begs the question, what other stop-motion classics deserve a modern revival? So many possibilities. I think there's a real magic to that handcrafted aesthetic. It's timeless. Vengeance Most Foul is a great reminder that sometimes the best stories are told one frame at a time. Couldn't agree more. Well, we highly recommend checking it out. Let us know what you think. Until next time, keep on diving. Happy viewing.